Hi guys, this is Jocelyn, and we're wearing Adrian and Janissa on the new show Empire Girls, premiering Sunday, June 3rd, yep, and 9 9 8 Central on Sound Network. Make sure you guys tune in. First off, how do you ladies meet each other? Oh my wow. goodness. We've known each other now for almost 10 years. years. Uh, we actually met when Julie was doing, I think at the time you were either on the center or moving on to doing some spots on 106 and Park. And I met you at a Grammy party that Usher had at Geisha House back in LA. This is way back in the day. And we actually became best friends when we were doing a movie for MTV called All You Got. And she is that played. The yes, I yes, remember. With yeah. Yeah, I like that movie. Thank you. And she pretty much came on to do a cameo as my cousin, Mari. And literally from us just hanging out on set for a few hours, we were like, why are we in separate trailers? Like, we're just pretty much going to hang out with each other all day so I had <laughs> wardrobe bring all her stuff to my trailer and we just hung out all day laughing like ever right. since then we were inseparable yeah and uh we just get along I don't know it's yeah. it's refreshing to have somebody in the business yeah. a fellow Latina at that, that we're can super support honest you. we're like you know it's very rare that you find people that aren't a Hollywood and in a Hollywood kind mm -hmm. of friendship like most people won't see us out at red carpet, so almost like we see us in my house. Judy's cooking something. I'm laid out on the sofa. Although maybe we've been hitting some carpets. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right. Right. Sure. Right. Well, but I think you know a lot of people wonder. Well, we didn't know they were friends, so that's because it's a genuine friendship. It's a mm -hmm. real friendship. We don't have where... to really parade it around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're well, just promoting the show now, so there's a difference. Being that you both are Latinas, can you say where you guys are from? Yes. Your background? Yeah. Well, I was born in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, and uh, <laughs> I moved to Queens when I was almost two years old. So I was raised in Jackson Heights, Queens. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I am Boricua y Ecuatoriana. My mom's Puerto Rican, my dad's Ecuadorian, and I was born and raised in LES, Louis, Manhattan. Nice. Yes. Well, being, I'm Latina to Puerto Rican, so I have a question for you guys. You know, there's a lot of Latina stereotypes out there. Um, yes. That you know, as an actress, you know, clean or like all these things, we have to be sexy. What do you think through your show that like the answer is like what type of things will people know about? Like, I think we for sure yeah. have to be sexy <laughs> all times, like the weather girl, like the weather girl. Boom boom boom. boom, boom, boom. No, I think it's gonna rain. <laughs> people think. Oh, people always ask us, well, what made you guys want to do the show? And that's actually one of the reasons why we wanted to do the show. There's an uh, audience we feel wasn't really being reached in the sense yeah. of Latino Americans. Yes, we're Latina, but we don't fit the stereotype. You know, I don't sound like Sofia Vergara. Love her to death. Although I do sometimes. But I don't sound like her. And I think that there's a lot of Latinas out there that are English speaking that can't watch, you know, all Spanish language programming and there should be something out there for Latinos that shows our culture, that embraces it, but that at the same time shows that we are mainstream. Mm -hmm. I, I, I speak like this, I speak in English. I mean, yeah. granted, ESL to like second grade, and our first <laughs> language is Spanish, but we're Latinas, we love our language, we're proud of our culture, and you see that in a mainstream way. Absolutely. And honestly, in Hollywood right now, there are we are making strides as a Latino community, yes. and you know, there have been so many amazing Latinas that have broken down doors and barriers for us, but so at the same time, absolutely. Um, at the same time, there's still a lot of what's happening in Hollywood is that Latinos are the ones actually writing the programming that you're seeing, and you don't get the authenticity. So we hope that with this show, people will embrace the authenticity that we bring to the table. I think definitely, I mean, um, oh, okay, also, so I want to know what you guys are up to, I know. You're, you do music and you're an actress and you host and you model and you're an actress too. I saw this one film with you dancing. Oh, my oh she was, was amazing good. in that. That's it when was... I was still deciding. I started off in this business, uh, even before I got in the business, I went to school and studied theater and drama. Okay. I thought that that's what I wanted to do. Growing up in New York, especially being influenced by Times Square, the Great White Way, you know, I, I would go to, while I was in school, I would go to plays and musicals all the time and thought that that was the goal. And then one of the first jobs I ever booked was a hosting gig on Telemundo, and I fell in love with hosting ever since then. So that's kind of been my passion. And I've gotten offers to do movies and stuff in between, so I've you know, taken them and basically given my all to those opportunities as well. But I'm focused on hosting and currently uh, focused on Empire Girls, yeah. the show on style, and uh, going around the country with Steve Madden actually. I host oh, wow. all of his uh, in store appearances. Yeah, I see that. A lot of people don't know that. Yes. And I think that's also another reason why we wanted to do the show. It's a platform to kind of 
also put out there what we're doing, the projects that we're working on. I'm working on a solo album. People don't know that she goes around with Steve Madden around the country and does that sort of mm -hmm. thing. And uh, along with that, I'm working on a nail polish line, when a clothing is line. Drop? When are you thinking it's gonna drop? Uh, the clothing line is actually gonna be a capsule collection that comes out September, Fashion Week. Okay. And uh, the nail polish line will be out later this summer. Awesome. And your album? Album. We're probably gonna drop a single heading towards the winter. Right. And you're up with Mio's. Uh, yeah. Mio album. Compound. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So can you just give you guys your Twitter or any websites? You yes. Want to you guys at home can catch me on Twitter at yes. Jumisa B. That's J U L I S S A B. So, and I'm <laughs> at Adrian underscore Bylone. And thank you guys again. Please tune into the show. It premieres June 3rd, 9 p.m. on Style Network. Awesome. Empire Girls. Each and every Sunday after that. Yay. Yes, you gotta tune in. <laughs>